happy to to return to the to the team last last week, you know. Yeah, always. Uh, I always like to play from the start, but I know how it is. It's uh, a lot of strikers now in the team, so it's difficult to to start the games. We have good strikers. We have four good strikers: Iago, uh, Seferovic, Gonzalo, and me. So I understand. Sometimes I'm on the bench, but uh, I'm trying to develop every every week, and then uh, then we see. So I'm I was happy with the start, but uh, I never know uh, for the next game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a tough, tough match, man. Yeah, they are a good team. They are a strong team. So I think with one point, we should be happy. Uh, they are a strong team. In La Liga, there's uh, many types of, 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 of teams, many types of games, uh, many types of matches. Uh, it's difficult to adapt. Yeah, of course. I think you have, uh, you have teams that are really, really top. Uh, of course, from the world, you have the, the best teams in the world in this league. And then you have... Uh, teams like Osasuna, Rayo Vallecano, who's more uh, in the middle right now in this moment. And then you have a lot of teams who are in kind of the same place, which is very difficult. So I think every game from the bottom to the top is difficult games for Celta. Uh, that's that's normal. But um, I think we are progress progressing good, but um, we still have some have some work to do. But we are on a good, uh, good level now. OK, uh, before coming here, before coming Celta. Uh, what did you think about football in Spain? It's like no, uh, like you you hope that, like you expect. expect yeah, it. no, I <laughs> I always uh, always look up to the Spanish league. I before I think maybe the English league was better. Like in in Scandinavia, we 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 watch more the English league, but I always have a good eye on the Spanish league. I always like how the football is there, and of course, when you have Barcelona and Real Madrid, of course you. You follow the league, so. Uh, but I'm honestly, I'm very, very surprised of how how nice, nice the people are, how nice the club is, and and I really enjoy the football here. It's very different from what Norway is. Norway is only long balls and uh, strong guys, but here it's more. We play with the ball, so that's uh, that's really nice. I really enjoy it. Okay, uh, what changed for you when Carvajal replaced with that? Uh, what does he ask from you that could that be? Uh, that's that's difficult. Um, I think both managers are really good, really good guys. First of all, good persons, uh, and as trainers, they are a bit different, of course. But with uh, Chacho, with Kudet, we we played, of course, a different style. Uh, we were a little bit more open, but it was it was kind of the same. They they I'm a big guy, so I need to be able to control the ball and be strong in the in the build-up, and uh, and even though I'm quite big, I also have a little bit pace, so I can run a lot in mm -hmm. in the in the space. And I think, uh, especially with with Carlos, um, with our uh, with our Mister now, he really wants me to go to the space. So, and I like it also there. So I I need to improve that to become even faster every every day, and then um, then uh, then uh, then it's good. Mm -hmm. Did you like? Uh, did you feel like a lack of confidence that the club was looking for another striker in, in January? No, no. We had a, we have a good conversation. Uh, me and the club. Uh, um, we know. I know also when when things are not going well for the club and maybe the striker is not scoring so much, which I did not. Uh, it's it's difficult to put all the pressure on me uh, to score all the goals. So I think it's very smart from the club to bring in a, a second striker also. Uh, which gives the team more uh, um, different uh, uh, options, you know. So I think that's very smart. Of course, it's it's shit for the strikers who wants to play football. That's normal. But uh, Sefe is a good guy and and is a very good player. So I wish uh, I wish him all the best here. And it's very important for the team that we have uh, different options because we were in a we are still in a difficult position and then it's important for us to be able to get out of that position and look for the for the higher um, higher um, position in the league mm -hmm. <clears throat> and did you kill me if i asked you for the goals or no sorry did you kill me if i asked you about the goals about, about the goals, goals? About... <laughs> of course not i i uh, i'm a big guy i have been in this situation before i played seasons where i don't score Many goals. I've been, played seasons where I score a lot of goals, so it's difficult. This is my first year. I know it was gonna be difficult, uh, but first of all, I'm 
very happy that I'm here and the club believes in me and that I've been playing quite good in a lot of matches. Of course, some matches better than the other ones. And that's how it is. I think with a bit more luck and a bit more quality, I would have six, seven goals. So it's difficult to score score in a club when we are not doing well also. And mm -hmm. you see, we have two players who have scored a lot, Iago and Gabri, which are really good players. So I want to become uh, better to join their level. But first of all, I need to take the important steps to to take the next one because uh, I know I can score many many goals but it's a difficult league mm -hmm. but it's unfair <laughs> sorry it's unfair to reduce a striker for, to the goals no? do you feel like what? that it's, it's unfair to reduce a striker to make goals to put to his goals of uh, maybe course. because you do a lot of things more yeah 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 no the, the important thing for me is to play every game as good as I can for the team um if that is to work hard in the defense or to win a lot of duels or I don't know, but every game is different. But of course, as a striker, you want to score the goals. So it's been some difficult months, but most important for me is I have I have two goals and three assists now and I try to see the positive out of, out of what I have and try to build from that. You cannot look behind and say, ah, I should have scored there or I should have done better there. You have to look forward and, uh, and just keep working and believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. How do you get so uh, ability with with the ball being so much tall? Ah, that's a difficult question. I uh, since I was a little kid, I always liked to dribble past players and score goals and celebrate like Messi, you know. So I was <laughs> not I was not a normal Viking who only takes the ball on the chest and uh, and fight. But I can do both. Sometimes I'm very important for the team with fighting and with running and with doing those things and other. Other times I'm good with controlling the ball and play on the ground. And that's why I choose Spain also, because it's a style what I like. Sometimes you play in the air and sometimes you play on the ground. But I think, for example, in other clubs, which was interested in me in the transfer window, it will be more more the long balls for the big striker, you know. So I am really happy that I chose uh, Felta. <laughs> yes. Um, when do, what do you think your greatest weakness Nowadays, my biggest weakness. Yeah. Nowadays, ah, it's difficult. Weakness and and uh, and powers. It's always difficult. But right now, I want to score more goals. That's normal. So, mm -hmm. I have to I have to uh, figure out and work out how to how to become even even sharper in the box and to learn from the best. And the the nice thing is, I have uh, a great goal scorer in our team, Iago, and of course also Seferovic in other teams. So. Uh, I am trying to learn. I'm. I know I'm still young, 23 years old. It's difficult to be a striker, 23 years old. So, I hope that I can build on as much as possible now. And maybe when I'm 27, I score my best season, or maybe next year. It's uh, difficult to know. But you know, you have to use your weaknesses to, uh, to not be something to take energy from you, but to work towards. So improve. So yes. I'm trying my best, but it's it's difficult. <laughs> Let's do a little, a little of your history. Why football yeah. and why a striker? Why striker? And why uh, football? Because yeah. in, in Norway, there's a lot of sports for winter sports. Yeah. When I when I was young, I played four sports. I played uh, uh, football, of course. I played golf. I played ice hockey, and I do uh, tennis. So I had a lot of sports when I was like five, six, seven years old. But at the end, I have to choose what I'm best in, and that was football. So, <laughs> I, since I was young, I scored a lot of goals. I remember my first match when I was five years old. I scored five goals, and we won five zero. So mm -hmm. uh, then I maybe understand. Okay, I have to be a striker, and uh, <laughs> and I have good genes because both my father and mother is strikers from the earlier days, but not in top clubs in Norway, but in amateur level. So, yeah, I think that was a that was an easy choice. Yes. And how important was the year at Milan for you? The year at Milan was very important. I learned a lot from it now because I had some tough moments uh, on the pitch. I did not play a lot. I had some tough moments outside the pitch where I was far away from my family. Yes. Like now I'm alone in my apartment with no family, with no friends. So I it was a very difficult time. Uh, but I learned a lot from it that... 
you just have to believe in yourself and uh, and trust and uh, that you are on a good way and uh, that's why i'm enjoying life now and not uh, sad about being uh, without family and friends mm -hmm. and do you think yeah. that you you take the right moment to come to celta yeah i think there was the right moment i You can see now in my old club in Netherlands, they are not doing very well. Um, they are in a difficult situation. And I knew that when I had a good season like last year, I need to take my step. And when Celta, when Celta comes, I, I knew that I have to I have to take this opportunity. And uh, and uh, yeah, it was a very good choice for me. Yes. Um, uh, talking about the team, how far can we go? This, this this season this season i'm not sure it's difficult it's uh, i think eight teams who are very close to the relegation okay you have elche which is a bit far further down but you have like eight seven teams who are very close for the last two spots so we are of course careful about it but we as a team we are always looking forward um so our goal is to try to reach every time a new step but We are not gonna uh, say now that okay we have been better the last weeks we're gonna play Europe next season blah 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 it's it's too much but I know that this team has a lot of lot of good players a lot of good um, a good um, possibilities to go to the next level and I think if we succeed this year to finish in a good position we will for sure be higher in the t table for the next season that's mm -hmm. that's, that's very why you important. that's why you seen uh, six. Six seasons, huh? That's why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I signed six seasons, so we have good time to build it up. And uh, <laughs> now, but hopefully we, hopefully we will continue to play like we have done the last weeks and stay away from the relegation zone, and then we can look forward for the last part of the season and for the next year. Mm -hmm. uh, I see a little photograph of of, of Halden, your hometown. Yeah. Yes. Uh, do you remind Vigo remind you Halden? No, it's it's difficult. It's different and it's difficult to compare them. But I think uh, Vigo is a very nice city. I enjoy it there. Uh, I live a little bit outside of the of the city and near mm -hmm. to the beach, which is very nice. I think in the summer, of course. And then I'm I'm also a lot in the center, which is nice. I enjoy it. The food is top. The the seafood, of course, is great, and uh, and everything that comes by with it. So. Uh, I I really enjoy it here, and the of course the 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 fans and the and the and the city it's uh, it's top. Uh, everyone is so positive, and I I cannot cannot remember hearing a bad word about Celta or about players. So really really positive uh, positive about this city and about this club. Harding is pretty now. Yeah, it's very pretty city. It's a uh, historical. It was. Uh, There was a lot of wars in my old city when uh, a long time ago. So uh -huh. it's not a bad city. <laughs> <laughs> the last one, uh, Norway national team. Yeah. Is Haaland so good? Yeah, he's top. Uh, first of all, he's a top guy. He's, uh, he's a good, very good person, very humble, down to earth. And uh, he's a good guy. But of course, as a football player, he's a monster. He's a, <laughs> he's a big monster. He's... Kind of like me and Seferovic, very big, but also very fast. And his, his shot is so hard. So uh, I, I'm looking forward to maybe go with him this uh, national break so I can learn uh, learn some more from him because he's, uh, he's a really top player. And scare or inspire being, being behind Holland? No, it's inspiring, of course. It's, uh, it's, of course, a difficult moment now to be striker from Norway with uh, Sörlot, with uh, mm -hmm. Holland, of course. But that's how it is. You you just have to take what you have, and Norway should be very happy with two such good strikers and maybe a few other ones coming also. So I hope uh, hope to be one of uh, hope to be someday as good as uh, as as them. That's uh, that's the goal. A lot of good players for Norway. I don't yeah, know what, yeah. what you eat. I don't know. Uh... No. In the in the March we in the end of March we're gonna play in Spain. So watch watch out and maybe we. <laughs> Maybe we take three points in Malaga. So, ah, sí, señor. <laughs> Perfecto. Eh, Jordan, que mil gracias por todo. Eh, que te vaya, muy, te vaya muy bien por aquí.